The men's hockey team is getting ready for their 2013-2014 season. They will play 34 regular season games and open up on October 12th at number 19 Boston University. The Crusaders come off their second consecutive 20-win season for the first time in program history. They return 11 forwards to a lineup that ranked second in Atlantic hockey on the power play, scoring 34 goals and converting 22.4% of their opportunities. Senior assistant captain Shane Stockton finished the year with 15 power play points, tying him for fifth in the league. Stockton led the team in 2012-2013 with 28 points. The Crusader offense also returned senior assistant captain Adam Schmidt, whose five game-winning goals led the team and tied for second in the league. The team also looks to the six incoming freshman forwards to contribute to the offense right away. For us to have success this year in the offensive zone, we need to be able to stick to our systems, work hard, and get pucks to the net. Um, I'm, no one say, I'm saying all cliche things here, but that's, that's how we have to identify ourselves right from the start of the season. And with 11 guys coming back, we have a lot of veterans coming for bring experience to the table, and we expect the freshmen to step right in and play a big role for us. The Crusader defense returns all but one defenseman and one goalie from the 2012-2013 campaign. Among the returners, junior goalie Matt Ginn looks to come back with a strong year after breaking three school records in the 2012-2013 season. Ginn and classmate defenseman Nylan Nagy are the only two Crusaders returning from last season's starting lineup. Holy Cross looks to use their existing chemistry between the seven returning defensemen and two returning goalies to keep the goals against low this season. We can't teach experience and having the returners that we do, the defensemen that we brought back, having Matt Ginn and Derek Kump both in net, I can't think of a, a better one-two goalie punch in the league. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be extremely important right off the bat and especially late down the line come playoff time. The onus is gonna be on the defensemen a lot early on this season and with the experience that we have, I think we're certainly up to the task. The Crusaders are set to take on Hockey East opponents Boston College, Boston University, and Northeastern, as well as defending national champion Yale and national runner-up Quinnipiac. In this year's USCHO preseason poll, five of Holy Cross's opponents ranked in the top 20, headlined by number four Boston College. I think it's a great opportunity for our team to showcase our talent early on. Uh, we play some really good teams off the start, but we have a good team here. And uh, we're excited to go out there and try and beat these teams and just have to play the way we know how to play. Um, play hard hockey and work hard out there. I think the experience that our senior class brings is getting a lot of big wins over there uh, the last three seasons, especially on the road with this group, uh, kind of a mental toughness as a team that we want to continue to have this season. And I think these guys are a big reason for that. They've been part of a lot of success, uh, great wins here at home, but especially on the road. In addition to big out-of-conference games, the Crusaders were chosen to play in the Atlantic hockey game of Frozen Fenway on December 28th against the Bentley Falcons. In regards to Frozen Fenway, uh, we're very excited about it. It's obviously a great opportunity. Um, growing up as a kid, you play out back in the backyard all the time. And uh, playing outdoors has been a dream for all of us, just like the NHL, and uh, we're very excited to do it. The hockey team will play 15 games at home here at the Hart Center, opening up on October 18th with Northeastern. Come out and show your support for Holy Cross hockey. Reporting for GoHolyCross.com, I'm Emily Correa.